Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. In the last episode we took out the, uh, I can't remember what rank she was, but we've taken out the third assassin in the game, Shinobu Jacobs. But now we need to get 250,000 LB dollars in order to do the next mission. But anyway, we've unlocked some stuff. We have unlocked Gold Town. We have also unlocked Beefhead. <laughs> and we've uh, also unlocked a new part-time job as well. Gold Town and Beefhead. What could they be of start? Well, um, well I'm, I'm going to show you. Don't worry about it, guys. First thing I want to show you is uh, Beefhead because it's closest to us. Uh, do you remember all those calls by Diane who was... Um, well, she works here. She works at the uh, video game and DVD rental place, which is owned by our best friend, uh, Bishop Shiddux. And, yeah, you don't actually get to see Diane, which is a shame, because she's an awesome character. But you get to see Bishop, at least. Travis! It's a bad day to be having a bad day. Damn straight. I mean, check out this death threat email I got on my cell. It's from my girlfriend. The word die keeps scrolling on and on. How am I supposed to do business during... I can't say that, guys. I don't swear. <laughs> my love life, my career, totally worthless. Anyway, what you can get from Bishop are videos. And um, I don't know what the videos do. do I, I want to say that they allow you to do wrestling moves, but I'm not sure. Let's buy one. Yeah, let's buy one, see what see what they do. We'll buy one and then we'll go home in a bit to uh, see what's going down uh, on the videos. Anyway, we bought a video. Uh, what else do we need to check out? Gold Town, that was it. We need to check out Gold Town. I'm trying to do this all pretty quickly because I want to get the Job Center mission done as well. So yeah, let's go find Gold Town, which I think is this way. It does say on the map, but sometimes I get lost. <laughs> Gold Town is right near Ryu's building, the Ryu building. Yeah, it's actually at the back of the Ryu building. Uh, wow, he looks pretty uh, funked up, doesn't he? Yo, man, what up? You're jaywalking. Get out the road, you crazy fool! <laughs> anyway, where are we? Here we are. This is uh, Gold Town. I didn't know it was called Gold Town, I must admit. Now, the guy who owns this... Uh, is uh, the Lovikov guy. What do you want? That's Mr. Lovikov. Look, man, this is no place for... I can't even say that. See, I'm a very, I'm a very uh, PG kind of guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go home to mommy. Leave me alone. I want to enjoy this moment. Now, if you had a ball, we may have something <laughs> to talk about. I am awesome at hiccups. Find the seven Lovikov balls scattered around Santa. Destroy. There's a lot more than seven. And bring them back, uh, bring them to this drunk. Hey, you've already got a ball, have you? Aha, a ball. And in return, I'll teach you something. Great. Now, for in return for bringing seven back, you will get to do one of these techniques. And each of the techniques are helpful in their own little way. So, memory of three. I don't remember what they all do. So, displays the po position of enemies on the mini map. So, you get to see where all the uh, enemies are. So, no one will uh, surprise you. And Memory of Woman is the one that we want. Extends dark side mode time limit. Don't know how long it extends it by, but, you know, extension is always great. Uh, it may tickle. Just a smidge. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, oh, ow. Mr. Lovikov. Ow. Well, at least we didn't have to get naked like we did at the Ryu building. You learned the technique of God. You got that. The technique is yours and yours alone. Now, to be honest, that is the only technique I find useful. Others, they, they give you like some kind of jumping technique, you can see enemies on the map, sure. But to be honest, that is the only one I find seriously worth buying. Um, obviously, if you can find more Lobby Cob Balls, feel free to use them, because that's the only place where you can use them. That's the only point of them. But to be honest, not a big fan. The only one I like is the Dark Side... Um, extension because well you can get you get more free hits basically if you manage to do the dark side I've known people play this game and they've never known what the hell the dark side sidestep is and I must admit in one of my first playthroughs I never knew what it was I don't think you actually get taught it I, I don't know I can't remember the tutorial because I didn't do it <laughs> you may get it in the tutorial I don't know but anyway we need some money and we need we need it fast oh we also 
Yeah, we need, to, we need it fast. I will check out what that video is, probably either in this episode or the next episode. That M over there, by the way, signifies a free mission. Should I show you a free mission? Yeah, I'll show you a free mission, and then I'll do the job center. Just to fill up time, because this is just going to be a missions video, really. The next one probably is as well. Yeah, lots of mission videos, but, you know, we've got a, a very exciting assassin coming up. <laughs> probably one of my favorites. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. Anyway, free fight mission starts. Kill until you take a single hit from the enemy. Kill them all within the time limit. That's tough. That is really tough. I, I've, I've never ever done one of these, ever. Uh, right, charge, 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 charge. Right, I've never ever, oh crap, I'm out of battery power. Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell, oh gosh. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I really can't do it. They are far too hard. So, you know, screw that. But at least I've shown you a free mission now. <laughs> you do get money per guy. I don't know if you get money for completing the free mission. Um, if you do, then it's news to me. If, if anyone knows, feel free to uh, comment me. But let's do something I can do, and that would be the third job center mission. Let's see what it is. We did lawn mowing in the last one, which was uber exciting, by the way. Apparently, there are lawn mowing championships, but it's lawn mowing, lawn mower racing, which is cool, but it's you know it's not what I was expecting. But anyway, uh, right, what is it? I can't remember. Remind me, game number three is garbage collection. Awesome. Uh, a thousand for each piece of garbage. Right, what was this one again? I am, I am. Totally blank today. <laughs> oh, I'm always kind of blank. I don't know why I'm. I, I was. I was. You got. You, I was up early today. I couldn't sleep all night. I decided to start playing um, Killer Seven eventually today at like 7 a.m. in the morning. And I've had that game on my desk for about three, four months now, and I decided to start playing it today. It's creepy. It's creepy as hell, but I love it. I love the blood. <laughs> Yeah, and there's some cool characters in it as well. But then again, that's, that's what I expect from the game creators, Suda51. They're awesome. It's what they do. They make the characters. Right. But I'm going to find this garbage place. And running into trees is probably not a good idea. Oh, it's across the river, is it? So I will need to go across the bridge. Do a left. Oh, yeah. Right. It should be right here. Okay, garbage collect. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, you got to run around the street, and you get a thousand per, well, garbage. You want to know the unspook, uns, unspoken, unspoken rules of Santa Destroy? This is a land of freedom and anarchy. So there's nothing much here, really. Just remnants cast off ruins. The garbage that litters our streets mark the remnants of lives. You following me? Each piece of garbage is a lost soul. I like how they justify simple things like coconuts and the lawn and stuff. Um, to be so great. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. You can't use bikes in this uh, mission because apparently it's environmentally friendly. Alright, you, you find garbage all over, all over the streets. So, there's some over here. I, how do you pick it up? Oh, okay. So you've got to press A near it. You know, A near it and then just lift it up like that. I've got three minutes to get as many as can. Ugh, lock on! Damn it! Right, this is embarrassing, Travis. I wonder why my t-shirt's not changed today. Usually my t-shirt changes. Maybe it doesn't do it at the end of every uh, day, but it does it at the end of every assassination. Well, we'll, see, we'll soon find out when I take on the next assassin. Once we get, how much was it? 200,000? Oh, God, that's going to take ages. Right, now, usually they like you to get at least $30,000 uh, in these little uh, jobs. So, I'm looking at a minimum of 30, although... Ugh, damn it, go up! Oh, stupid Wiimote. <laughs> I do love the Wiimote motion sensing, but sometimes it's just not on. No, stop punching. No, stop punching. Oh, thank you. Get it up. I want that one. I want that can. Thank you. Right. Come on, we can do this. This is epic, by the way. <laughs> I should stop using that word. People don't like it when that word is overused. But how how can you how can you not describe garbage collection as epic? Lawn mowing, coconut collecting, it is all supreme on a very supreme scale. 
What am I on about? I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm feeling very random tonight. I'm just so excited about garbage collection. It's all good. <sighs> oh, a minute, and I've got 24, so I should get quite a lot. <sighs> Damn it, pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, I've also got to go to um, Ryu's building to train up. Oh, God. I, will, I did say I was going to cut that out, but you know I might as well just keep it in to make up a video. Oh, hold on guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I might as well just keep it in just to fill up a video, because uh, you'll, you'll get to hear me struggle again. And struggling is hilarious. <laughs> I may even scream and shout. And everyone likes it when a frustrated gamer does a let's play and they're all, Ah, why are you doing this to me? I hate you, game! Arr. Yeah, I'll be doing that later. Trust me. <laughs> Probably in the next episode, because I'll be, I'll have assassination missions to do in the next episode as well. I've, I've not really done this much. I've not really done much in this episode, have I? <laughs> well, what? All right, come on. Garbage, 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 garbage. All right. Oh, all right. Come on, a couple more. Oh, I can, I can probably get two more. Get up! Get up! Oh, stupid motion sensor. Oh, you have denied me my chance at garbage glory. Stupid game. <laughs> but we did get 39, which is 39,000, which is a gold medal. Hooray. We are winners today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love the gold. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. He'll just say the same thing. Hey, you third raider. I've got another job for you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All righty then. Right, 11 minutes 50 have gone according to my timer. Assassination mission. You know what, I'll, I'll talk to the lady, I'll get, I'll, I'll set up the assassination mission, I'll go there, then I'll end the episode. Let's see what delightful jobs we have to do. Oh yeah, by the way, there, I may not be able to do all of the assassination jobs. There is one assassination mission that I know of in which you need to get a gold on one of the other assassination missions to unlock. As you can see, I'm not getting gold on all of them, so I may miss a few. I apologize. Pizza Butt returns. Chain restaurant Pizza Butt plans to open up in Santa Destroy. To crush their plans, kill Pizza Butt CEO. What, again? I thought I killed him. <laughs> Swordmaster, kill as many as you can within the time limit. Mission ends when time runs out. Wow, wow. those are some pretty high-paying assassination missions. So, you know, we're we'll take that one on. 50,000 is a lot of moolah, please believe me. Gosh, I wish I had $50,000. I am broke lately. I am broke. I need money. Ugh. Please don't send me money, though. I, I don't want to be one of those uh, people who ask for money. You know, I'll, I'll earn it myself one day. <laughs> anyway, enough about myself. We must get to Avalanche Street once more. Oh, quick, get out of the way. I need to run over people. <laughs> I need to get there really quickly. There's probably a shorter way to get to uh, Avalanche Street. I'm just going the way I know because I'm not good with directions. I get lost very easily. It's easy to get lost in this uh, town because it's so big. You don't realize how big Santa Destroy is. Because um, I, I, I still don't know where a lot of the places are. But anyway, we need the money and we've got a couple of jobs, well, assassination gigs that we need to do before we can get to our $250,000 mark. Can we get there without any trouble, lag, or upstart fail moments? Find out next time on Let's Play No More Heroes. See you later, guys.